a stunt. And in six months' time, we'll still be calling to bring back out to say that I can be And yet, disappointingly, we find ourselves in that situation. We know from the reports of these hostages, those hostages that were released in November, that those left behind face an ordeal that none of us will come in. We know that many of the hostages haven't seen the light of day for six months, and that many are being sexually abused. Six months ago, on this day, we were just a problem. Good afternoon. I see I've got one viewer um, trying out my external mics once again. I've got them both going, so hopefully the audio is a little bit better on the live stream. Uh, so we're here at the pro-Israel demonstration. It's quite small, maybe, I don't know, 50 people. Uh, there's a few police around, maybe about a dozen. Um, there's one or two uh, Palestinian lads. Actually, I'll get a shot of him. Uh, there's a Palestinian chap waving a flag over there. Um, which is, uh, which is good, but yeah, everything just seems pretty peaceful at the moment. So I've got my full rig at the moment. I've got, uh, I'm live streaming off one phone, uh, I'm recording on another, and I've got my 360 deployed. Um, I'm not wearing a body camera. Uh, I lent that to someone else today, so uh, for a little bit of field testing. So uh, yeah, here we are in Britomart in central Auckland, looking at all of the signs of the Israel people. I'm going to dive into the crowd in a moment, just so that I can get a 360 of everybody and uh, get a view of the speaker. All right. I'm sorry communication is one way everyone, um, uh, I, I can't see anything that you're posting or, or typing or anything like that and I'm also not really sure if you'd rather listen to me or if you'd rather listen to, um, uh, to the speeches and that sort of stuff. But anyway, here we are, uh, okay, I'm going to duck into the crowd, see if I can get near the front and uh, film some people. How is it October 7th happened? It happened because Hamas are allowed to continue to exist. And this will happen, or the attempt to repeat what happened, will be repeated in the future if they continue to exist. Hamas are not really interested in Hamas are not really interested in, in, in other in other than in the use in life or death of their ideation for the creation of an Islamic caliphate in what they call Palestine. The people of Gaza don't matter to them. Every death is not only the responsibility of Hamas, but is welcomed by Hamas. Because it knows that the more Palestinian deaths, the worse public opinion moves against Israel. War is horrible. War always results in the tragic civilian deaths, but Israel goes out of its way to try and prevent this. Yes, it has made mistakes. No one in the world has been But that does not make this any less just war. All be it for more, and will be over tomorrow for us. What this is not is genocide. If Israel wanted to commit genocide, it would have done so. Well, that was quite nice. I, I, I got a song there from uh, from someone, which was uh, which was lovely. I think she was speaking Hebrew. Um, I try to get a little bit of elevation. I realise, like, like um, the the live streams from um, from ground level, and I do have the 360 deployed. So I'll cut some edits later, which will give you kind of an overhead view. Uh, but for now, it's, I'm not quite sure where I can go to get a little bit of elevation. What I might do is sort of wander around behind the speakers so that I can get the sort of the, the view from the. Uh, from the stand. Israel One moment. Up, nor should it give up on the return of the hostages. No country would be expected to do so, and Israel should not be expected to either. Thank you all for coming here. Your presence is really important. 
our simple, our message is simple. Release the hostages, release them now. Bring them home now. I'm Israel Khan. Shalom. Hello. Thank you, Rob. I would like to invite Rabbi Hotroman for the prayer for the state of Israel and its defense forces. by standing on a um, standing on a chair over here by this police one moment ah oh, that's a little bit better so as you can see it's not a very big crowd uh, as everyone knows I'm notoriously poor at uh, estimating a crowd size so I think I have a tendency to overestimate. So trying to learn, I'm going to go that there is around about 50 people here. Most of them are carrying signs and uh, you know flags and stuff like that. That, that. You know, I think it's. I'm not seeing a lot of people joining in who are just kind of walking by. Okay, so that's a few of the flags, guys. Um, there's uh, just down here you can kind of see off in the distance there's the uh, the acrobat who performs in in Britain Mart from time to time he's fantastic as street performers go he's just uh, yeah he's really incredible so he just finished just before this started and um, this demonstration were kind enough to let him kind of finish his act before they kicked off um, I might go and get a shot from the Palestinian chap he's all by himself so I'll go and uh, see if I can get a wave All right, there's a couple of dudes there. Give them a wave. Yep, wave from the Palestinian lads. Uh, they're out here to show the show the colours, you know, which is which is reasonable. It's their right, of course, you know, um, as long as everything's peaceful on both sides. I think it's uh, you know it's just a really good thing. It's just democracy in action. Uh, as you can see, a couple of police over there. Couple more sort of grouped up over there. There's a few up near um, uh, near Custom Street. So just two or three here and there. Um, but they're just kind of chatting to people, and uh, yeah, it's all pretty friendly and happy and smiley. You can see, like, here's this police officer smiling with a lady. Okay, shall we have a chat to him just to see? Okay. Uh, no, he looks like he's on the job, so we'll leave him to it. We've got the, some of the signs free Gaza, we've got a few of the... Hello? I beg your pardon? Are you talking to me? Oh no, sorry, I'm talking to a live stream. I've got, uh, I've got some viewers on, uh, on Twitter who are tuning in to watch this live. So, uh, yeah, I'm broadcasting. Uh, independent media. Is that where you are? You're in yeah, yeah. And how so, do I find you? Uh, you can find me, Simon R. Anderson, on uh, X slash Twitter is the best place. Simon R. I Anderson. Know, on Twitter. Well, you'll find it on YouTube as well. You're on YouTube? And, yep, same name, Simon R. Anderson. Uh -huh. And you'll be able to see yourself. If you'd like, I can get a shot of you with your sign. I'm different. 
You are? Okay. Choice. You don't want to say hello to everyone who's tuned in? I'd rather say something meaningful Well then, say well please do, say, say whatever you'd like. A great demonstration. Okay, well, uh, I thought you'd hope everyone found that interesting. Um, so that's, uh, I, I would guess, uh, that lady is, she had a North American accent, so I guess perhaps an uh, uh, American person, I mean, rather a uh, an American or Canadian person of Jewish extraction, <laughs> which was interesting to get. Uh, this guy's been standing here holding the sign, sign looking up for a long time. He's, um, he really hasn't moved, he's, uh, yeah, he's certainly a believer. So it seems like a fairly good mix of people. I can see that there's um, some Jewish families over there um, uh, wearing their kippah uh, with the children. But there's also um, quite a few, I would just sort of say, generic Kiwi types in the crowd. But I would say it skews a little bit older. Um, and looking at the um, what I could find about this demonstration, it seems to perhaps have been um, arranged by a variety of Christian groups. Um, but I, I honestly don't know an awful lot about them and, and anything like that, so so that's the state of it. Uh, the Palestinian chap, he's waving his flag over there still, uh, talking to passers-by. Um, yeah, just, I don't know really what to tell you. Uh, police are round and about, everyone's just relaxed. Um, goodness, just... just uh, a peaceful demonstration. I don't know if, if everyone's particularly interested in this and just wants me to shut up and, and uh, wave the camera around. I see there's 144 people on the stream, which probably for me is a bit of a record, so maybe there's some interest out there. But I, what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll just shut up for a few minutes so that you can kind of just get a feel for it without me uh, narrating. so much discourse just represents and reminds us of the struggle that is the Jewish struggle that we've been living for centuries. People like myself, people my age, up until this point, we've known in theory of the Jewish struggle. We've known that, yes, for many centuries, 
we have been persecuted and been attacked for our identities, but it's only since October 7th that it's really resonated and opened our eyes to the fact that the stories that we've heard about the Holocaust, the stories that we've heard about the Spanish Inquisition, they're not just stories from long ago. They're warnings of what it means to be Jewish. We have a duty to ourselves, to our ancestors, to our descendants, to continue to be proudly Jewish. And that's what we're standing here today to do. No. <laughs> that's what we're standing here today to do, to be proudly Jewish, to stand with all of the hostages who are still not back. Every single hostage that is still alive embodies the Jewish struggle. We know that they are struggling more than any of us here can possibly imagine. And so we gather here today to stand in solidarity with them and to pray for their safe return. At this point, what we need to be doing is looking out for one another. I was, when this first started happening, I was intent on changing the views of people around me. At a certain point, you have to accept what you can and can't change. All that we really, really have control over is to look after one another as a family, as a Fano, as a Mishpacha, all together. We need to be here for one another, and that's what we're doing today for our family here in Israel, for our family here in New Zealand, and our family in Israel. Someone's pulled out a guitar. The last thing I want to do is listen to folk music. Goodness. All right. Um, I think. Uh, I think that might be it. Um, I think I've probably captured the sense of it for everyone. I've been recording for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, as you can see, just a peaceful demonstration. Um, crowd's grown a bit in size, that would be fair to say too. Um, our, our Palestinian friend, I'm going to get another way from him if I can. These guys are looking good. wrong about it being folk music, it seems more like uh, cultural music. Whoops, hope I didn't offend anyone. Okay. I think on that note, um, I might get ready to, to um, stop the stream. I'm just going to walk over here. So you can kind of get a feel. You can see, as I said earlier, there's a few police that are strategically placed around the 
around the square, but uh, yeah, they're not up to much. Okay, so one look at the crowd, and then I'll go up to uh, Custom Street and uh, see what's happening with um, the police there. Oh, sorry, missing police standing over there by the train station. A few more. So all up, I'd guess the police presence at about a dozen, maybe a few more. The crowd has probably swelled in size to 60, 70. Uh, a few of the Samoan lads are there as well. Um, one of them had a cool uh, uh, Samoa 2011 Rugby World Cup shirt on. Alright, so I'm going to wander just up to the top of the street so we can see what's going on up there. Um, and then I think I'll end the stream. Let's see how we go. It's going to be really interesting to listen to this back and see how the audio went. Uh, I hope it's um, I hope it's adequate with my new setup. of uh, police up here at the top. Uh, looks like they're moving the cordon in a little bit. Well, it's not really a cordon, it's just they're uh, operating. Uh, smile from the lovely police officer. These guys were just on Custom Street, but they looks like they've been called in. Not quite sure what the story is there. Well, they are moving forward. Um, maybe it's worth going back and having a look. Goodness, I can see there's 207 people in the live stream. Blimey, uh, certainly some interest in this topic for a little Twitter account like mine. Um, thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope you're uh, you're enjoying it. Some kids playing football. That's what kids should be doing on a Sunday. Are you a vlogger? What do you, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, you can find me Simon R. Anderson. And you guys are being watched by 219 people on Twitter right now. Looking good, guys. Good stuff. That's what I, I really like to see, like... You can see the police officers over here. They're just, you know, talking to people, giving directions, and just being out and about in the community, being visible, and just being nice as, as police most often are. You know, it's uh, it's one of the things I really like about New Zealand police is they they tend to be really smiley, happy, amiable, and amicable people. Um, you know, in general, we're easy to deal with. Okay, sometimes they, as a as a service, a police service, uh, you know, they make mistakes, but Personally, um, you know, I, I, I hold the, uh, their management more accountable than the personnel on the front line. It's just, it's almost invariable that the police that I deal with are just uh, nice and lovely and happy and friendly and all of that. These three jokers, <laughs> you know. Sometimes it's quite funny, you know, that policeman's walk. It really is a plod, and uh, I, I like to catch that sometimes because it, you know, there's. You get a bit of theme music running through your head when you see them doing it. That slow, you know, policeman's walk. Anyway. All right, look, guys, I think I've covered everything. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I'll have a look at the 360 footage later, uh, which will give us a kind of an overhead view. I might, you know, publish that if it's at all interesting. But uh, I think that is that. So I will say to all 230 of you, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.